Hey all, in this video, we are going to learn about head and tail function of pandas. The head function is used to returning the top rows from the data frame or series, whereas the tail function returns the last rows. Suppose we have this data set and as you can see that we have a huge amount of record. Sometimes the records are available in million or billion or even more than that. But you don't want to display all the record. You just want glimpse of the data. For this purpose, we need to use head or tail method. So we have this data set. First, we will load it and then we will look into. So here I have my Jupyter notebook. Since Panda is not a part of Python standard library, so we have to first tell Python to load the library. For that, we need to import pandas. Now we can use read underscore CSV function to load a CSV data. If you have watched my previous two tutorials, then you should have basic understanding on pandas framework and data frame. So let's run this. Now let's check whether it's created or not. So it created successfully. Now we will look at the head method. For that, this head method return top three rows of a data frame. Here in this example, it contain parameter three. It is an optional parameter. By setting it, we fix the number of rows we want from data frame. By default, it is five. So now let's run this. As you can see that it returned top three rows from the data set. Now, what if we will not provide the parameter? Run this. So by default, it returns five rows. Now, instead of seeing the first line, I want to see the last line. For that, I need to use tail method. A tail function fetch bottom rows from a data frame. Here, as you can see that I have not provided the parameter. Let's run. It returns five rows. Therefore, the tail function return last five lines of the data frame. Here. I have provided the parameter two. Let's run this. So as you can see that it return only two rows. Now head and tail function are not only used to get lines, but they are used every time when you change your data set and you want to see the changes that you have made. So let me show you a quick example. Here I have created the data frame with a dictionary. Now run this. Let's check. So as you can see that here we have three columns and 10 rows. Now what if I want a revenue? Let's create a revenue column. So revenue is a quantity to the price. Now run this. Now to check whether modification has worked or not, I will use head and tail function instead of fetching whole data set. Run this. Here you can see that revenue is created and from tail also you can get the revenue column. It saves a lot of time. Instead of fetching the whole data set, you can check from head and tail method as well. That's all about head and tail method. I hope you like this video. Thank you for joining us.